Namaste. Hi, uh, everyone. This is Akesha Reddy. So today, um, this part, we'll going to discuss and the jail concept related um, interview questions. So yesterday, we have discussed like uh, till here is currencies part, right? Eh? So currencies part, yesterday we are, we are, we are. So in currencies part, actually, um, the main point is we discussed, main point is we discussed, like we discussed, like uh, one for transaction currency, one is the reporting currency. That must be very clear on the, the differences. Reporting currencies, there is no changes in that. So like once you are assigned to the company code, there is no changes. Max three currencies we can assign. The first one was only mandatory. This is two is optional, either if you require or not. So if you assume that, if you know there is no like only company code currency, every like we can use any currencies to posting means like a transactions, either INR, USD, Euro, or Japanese, uh, Russia, like um, any other currency we can use it. But if you want to use other currency other than INR, that we must maintain to the, there is a few settings, one for translation ratio, I mean, we maintain the relation one to one and maintain to the exchange rate because of every, every foreign currency, the relate, I mean, like a, um, the day by day rates are fluctuated. So right, we need to maintain to the, these things we need to maintain accordingly, the value will flow the posting currencies to INR. Okay, similar manner group currency also. If you are maintaining group currency, the posting currencies to group currency are like INR to group currency, the value will flow. Okay, so there is possibility, there is no changes in that if you want once you are assigned, but changes will happen to the posting aspect. Every any currency we can use it. Okay, yeah. So next is here is um, the important thing we discussed with it. Um, if you want transaction currency, yes, how many currencies you can use this? Yes, yes, yes. Issue, if you want a new currency transaction, yes. See, generally, in this case, actually, where there is a possibility issue, if you are using to the first time any new currency, there is issue will come, like a, there is no translation ratio, particularly, particular incidents, sorry, particular currency. So that time, that time we need to be uh, maintain translation ratio and exchange rate. And if you want, like uh, at the time of doubt session, especially, I'll tell you what, how to maintain and all, how to correct it also. Okay, this is one issue we'll correct it. The, if you maintain for a translation ratio and exchange rate, the issue will be the issue will be resolved actually. Okay, okay. And next is how will exchange rates updated in SAP? Generally, uh, in SAP, we'll update it um, either manually. Manually, I haven't seen any, um, um, what I can say, any modifications required that time only. Generally, through job, bad job from third party system to SAP, that will be updated to the um, exchange rates. Next is direct indirect quotations. There is um, everyone, uh, if you remember, have you remember everyone? So, OBG rate um, take out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OBG rate, um, exchange rate, uh, maintain the screen if you remember. There, yes, sir, direct. There is, yeah, direct and indirect. There is uh, two fields we have. The meaning of the direct and indirect meaning is like a, how the translation happened here is. So simply I'll tell you here is direct, indirect meaning is like a, here is the posting currency. Is that right? Huh? Whatever the, the posting currency. It can be like any currency. That is Japanese, that is example. You are posting by using, you are using, for example, USD, you are using posting. Posting. What is our currency? INR. So the meaning is simple. The posting currency is to company code currency. The translation happen. Right? Huh? Posting currency is to um, like a company code currency. It is translation happen. That is a direct quotation. Directly value will come to the R or to the company code. Company code currency, direct value income. Example, you have posted thousand dollars of USD. The value will be translated to the example like eight thousand. If it is eighty eight rupees, eighty rupees it is. That is a direct quotation. Simple, I can say. Indirect quotation. If you since you are posted to the USD, the value will translate it, translate it to INR to USD. The reverse way, the way calculations it will happen. USD. That is a indirect. Indirect. I'll tell you simple. Direct. This time, this time, how the values will be calculated? One USD value, how much worth of it is INR? It is eighty rupees. The reverse way, what happened to the one rupee? What is the worth of USD? That way, the value, the way of calculation, it will happen. I'll show you this one. I hope you are all, everyone, have this 
I'm able to see the screen right now. Yeah. If you see here is live, I'm showing you here is. For example, one USD USD versus sign are very clear. The simple understanding purpose I'm telling you here is. What is the worth, everyone? Can you see this? No. No. One uh, somebody is saying not no issues. Say eighty one point seven two. We can see. Correct. No? If it is indirect, is coming. So for, if you are reversal, if you see the one rupee is worth of USD dollars zero 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 one two is a indirect. Okay. So this is a call like a. The, if you come to the I mean calculations, very nominal difference only it will come. Right. Very nominal uh, amount difference only it will come. Okay. Indirect. Choose any one. Right. So that is the difference actually. Direct means value is what are the posting currencies to like a term, uh, company code currency values translate happen direct. Indirect means reversal way happen. I know. I know to the USD. I can say the value. The putting of a uh, value is that way both will be different. That is only thing. The ultimate value is like a final difference is a very nominal difference. It will come whether you use directly or indirectly. Okay. So one of the area currency aspect actually, especially currency uh, either interview point of view or like a what I can say like a in working point of view, we must be very clear the things. If it is a smaller. Concept is um, always like a, a con currencies concept is a small, but it is a bit. Sometimes we it can confuse you, but more important, we must be crystal clear for the uh, currencies aspect. Okay. Mm. Any questions on it? Uh, currencies aspect. What is the currency? Um, just I'm repeating. What is the currency? Posting currency. What is like a reporting currency? How many currencies generally company could support it? Correct. So. Mm, Either posting possibility only three currencies are more than yes more than default exchange rate type. There are many exchange rate type we call, but default is generally we call M is a default exchange rate type. And direct just mentioned like a will exchange rates are updated in SAP how the manner okay if, if any any issues which issues occur that we need to maintain these these settings. So this is about like a currencies. Any questions on it? Like let me know. If it's a clear, and we'll move to the next actually. Sir, yesterday uh, you asked about how many currencies that we can assign to a company, but so we didn't yes, get how many currencies we can. The question is how many currencies we can assign to the company code. Is it right? Yes, sir. The max three currencies we can assign. That's it, right? Huh? No, sir. Uh, while 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 posting a transaction. While posting a transaction. He is asking different. how many currencies can we post uh, documents? It means uh, more than three. You ask, no, sir. There is yeah yeah. There is no limitation. There is no limitation. You can use any currency posting's purpose. The statement number one. But if you're using to the new currency, we need to maintain some configurations. That is like a translation ratio between two currencies, especially company code currencies to the posting currencies. The based on that, we need to maintain the exchange rates that are, that are by using a type is. These three I means like these settings is required any new currency if you are using. So far, you are using to the these few only. If you want to use any new currencies, I can say like a, a Poland, Poland one or like a. Hmm, any, any any specific currency if you want yes you can use this happily okay there is no limitation to posting of any postings per part but reporting point of view there is a limitations okay right i hope clear everyone yes sir yeah uh, any other currency uh, sorry any questions others if it is a clear uh, um, yes let's go ahead please uh, um, we need to configure the Foreign currency revelation. If we have uh, multiple currencies reporting, see foreign currency. I'll tell you. Uh, don't mind. So foreign currency revelations. How we'll do? I'll tell you here. Is okay. Next point. Up. I'll tell you. That, that is difference. This is another one. Right? No, no. That is all the dependency points only one by one, one by one. Mm. How? Right now. Oh. See. Foreign country, somebody asked you, like, how many currencies? See, example, 
I'll tell you here. If you're posting some currency, if you're using company code currency, I mean, that's default, means value will flow posting to INR, first point. If you are in group currency also, the value must be translated any currency you are posting, even group currency as well. Is that right? The second way, group currency also. Whatever you posted currency, every currency. Yes, yeah, sir, got it. Uh, whatever we do a relationship with the company currency, as well as we need to do the relationship with the group currency also. Definitely. Definitely, we'll post. But we have an option. Either um, directly posting currencies to group currency or you want post. Or INR means like a posting currencies. I mean, uh, company code currency to translation happen to the group currency. How you want. That is our choice, actually. So, <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing. Small differences, I'll tell you. So, because now, so there is the time limitations. We, are, we want difficult to go for a very detailed days, right? Just I'll show you this one. Because only GLV Sir, are in. Is it necessary to maintain uh, the relation to from posted currency to group currency also? Posted currencies to group currency also. Yes, one second. I'll, I'll come to you, Pikesh. I'll come to this. I'll come to this. Which so which option you are choosing based on that you are. So example, there are two options as mentioned, right? So before that, let me. OB, OB 22. So take what is our company code? TS01 is that right? Mostly just loss. Any, any company code. Select it in detail. See, the first point, number one, point um, local currency, there is like a um, source currency. So everyone must remember. Like a, See, whenever I'm giving to the um, company code, so these all, there is no option for me. It is default system has taken. Is it right or wrong? I'm asking everyone. Right, yes, sir. Yes. Have you people edited this one or a system automatically taken this system one? System automatically taken. From when Automat we are creating company code, uh, we are given the currency. You're not right. currency is only given, system automatically taken. Because it's system, system, system will take. Will system will take. take. System. Yes, system will take. Because it's a, whenever the company code creations, the, whatever currency you are given, this automatically taken. INR example, right? Here, the important thing is exchange rate type. After that, like a source currency. The source currency, two things we have. Translation taking to the transaction currency as a basis. There is another option. Translation okay. taking to the first look first local currency as a basis i'll tell you the difference actually right so first for, for a first uh, inr purpose i mean company code current purpose there is no option only we need to take a transaction currency as a basis the meaning here is the first option option number one for inr there is no there is no option the must whatever posting currencies value must be translated to the inr for this case so coming to the group currency option there are two options we have. We can edit it to the group currency point of view. Group currency point of view, like a two options. Every value the must be transferred to the company code currency and as well as to whatever you posting, as well as to the group currency also values should be flow. Here, here I can say here is here is two options we have. Either option one. With detail, option one, I can say one okay option one what so whatever posting currency is to group currency directly whatever posting currency is to i'll show you here is option one here is we have transaction currency translation taking to the transaction currency as a basis the meaning here is if you posted a value is for example here is i can say i can say euro the euro to directly usd the value is a translated happen USD to USD to Euro to USD group currency. I can say group currency just give me a second. USD, right? For example, you are posted to the Euro. Euro, it will happen. First of all, company code currency it will uh, um, translate in the same manner that a uh, second, uh, second time it does. Euro to USD also translation will happen directly. Option number one. We are posted to the Japanese currency, JPY to USD, the value will happen. So here is 
that is so the option one is like a posting currencies to usd one option right uh, posting currencies to uh, option usd there is other option option two actually option two whatever option two is option two is everyone option two is option is the first whatever like a euro it is trans value is translating to inr to or sorry um whatever is euro to it is value is translating to inr first company code second second from inr to inr to option two what will happen the, from inr to value is coming to the usd it directly what posting currencies to usd directly would happen there is system will tra translate it to the inr as well that is default it is happening but second option what happened to the inr from whatever the currencies are uh, translated to happen inr to group currency value is coming so here is inr to group currencies value is coming i hope you are uh, see this right huh? this is it is happening this is what happening here is <clears throat> this is posting currencies to usd directly it is happening. but here is the bypass the what bypass it is happening for every currency translating to inr inr what to usd will value will be translated option two option two so our choice to which one we need to choose it i hope you are even clear at this point is it yes yes so these two options will arise from uh, based on the source currency am i right ob20 no no, no. But yeah, OB twenty two only. Yeah, yeah. OB twenty two only. We have option two. Either you can choose, choose to here or directly. For or like a direct currency is to here. Yes, right? Got it. Good. Yeah. So thank you. So we'll we'll move to the next is we'll move to the next. One more option called validation. Legal validation, proof validation. Uh, I'll one, tell you this one. one. See, legal only will directly. Win. Validation point of legal only we default it will select it. Right? For group group currency also we will we need to take only. Okay, that's all. You don't do anything. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you go that bit more details, it is again one more story that one. Right? Yeah. Coming to that, like next interview point of view, there is a possibility. Okay. There is a most possibility, not possibility. The most possibility is like a leading non-leading ledger concept. so this is i can say this is i can say this is i can say leading and non leading ledger the concept i'm writing here and do you know this they will ask you like do you know do you know the nugel concept they will ask you like interview point of view. yes see yeah. nugel is there are uh, most important functionalities or lead uh, nugel functionalities this is a leading non leading ledger or parallel ledger also we call the naming conventions must be remember sometimes we call uh, differently parallel ledgers also we call the same and document splitting also we call the same currencies also we call the parallel currencies more than one g if you have that we have the parallel currencies see here is um, i'm skipping to the here is i'm moving to the parallel currency see value whenever posting happening one uh, parallelly updated to the inr and as well as to the group currency that is called a parallel currencies is that right the similar manner here is we are coming to the ledger um, leading and non leading ledgers the called the terminology used for a parallel ledgers leading and non leading ledgers of your time we call the parallel ledgers also the naming conventions i can say and document splitting if you do, do you know that the nugel functionality that the somebody asked you like interior the meaning is a two concepts we called there are many other other small concepts also mainly these two concepts you can tell to this i have no i have idea leading and non leading ledger and document splitting and and parallel ledgers also so the may, the way interviewer as possibility ask you leading non leading ledger related one three times they can use it three ways they will ask you do you know nugel functionality yes the same answer leading non leading ledger do you have yes the same answer parallel ledgers the same answer or uh, there is uh, there is a possibility one more way uh, the question leading non leading ledger questions i'll tell you okay so i want to address to the new uh, there is um, one of the accounting principles i'm using to the leading for example i want to address to the new accounting principle what is the address for it leading non leading ledger and again that so in anyway, that i'm going to cover here is so here is what is a leading what is a non leading ledger okay see here is leading i think like a 
if you have no please select me you know, what is the leading as for your idea mm-hmm. whatever daily transition we are posting everything goes to leading laser defaultly it goes defaultly, to the leading laser mm 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 definitely so that mostly will use for a local ad, uh, local accounting principles to address it okay local accounting principles to to address it for example india we have we are posting the transactions all will default or updated to the leading ledger no doubt in that that generally will address to the local accounting principles local accounting books means like a india accounting principle generally will address that if you have one company code example so i'll tell you so the same manner the, the we are doing business worldwide or like us space we want to address to the another accounting principles like uh, that is us or uh, us gap or uh, frs gap we used uh, leading ledgers sorry non leading ledgers we we'll use it okay uh, th- i'm asking to everyone is it clear why we are using to the non leading ledger what is the purpose of leading ledger yes yes sir so the the sometimes what happen this is uh, the basic idea purpose i'm telling you people leading ledger generally it will address to the local accounting principle so non leading ledger generally will use other accounting principles other um, um other accounting principle to address purpose we use it okay see uh, the the sometimes what will happen as mentioned like um, one many company codes one controlling area if you want to address that time what will happen Uh, it will be reverse way it will work non leading ledger it works as a local accounting principle or leading ledger also it will work for a other accounting principle to address it so that time it will be changed but the basic idea you can understand leading ledger generally will use for a local accounting principle non leading ledger for a different accounting principles for we use it okay so there are uh, um, settings point of view so there are three important settings one for like um, currencies another one is fiscal year and another one is a posting period variant these three how it will be adopted also you can have a look see leading ledger it adopted from company code no doubt in that okay non leading ledger generally it will adopted from the leading ledger post we can modify still but we can modify currencies there is no changes we can't modify uh, but i can say i mean there is a limitations in currency also generally we can't change it next is like a fiscal year if you want to use different currencies basically fiscal year to leading to non leading ledger yes we can use it next is i can say <coughs> sorry uh, i can say um, posting period variant generally uh, posting period variant also every ledger will be separately because while well, so if you want any kind of will use it okay next is entry view on uh, entry view ledger view see entry view ledger view entry view and uh, ledger view i can say the difference is what is the interview what is the ledger view so if you if you remember entry view the meaning is entry view the meaning is how the entry you are posted ledger means you are entry while posting for example uh, the value we want to um, uh, post common postings we want all three for example we are using the one leading ledger three two non leading ledger we are using for a three ledgers if you want updated you not maintain to the any ledger group while posting it generally b50 code is is enough the thing is the entry it is no more nowhere it is post I mean how you are entered that is called entry ledger means for a three ledger wise each ledger wise separate document will show that is called a ledger okay like a, next is i can say like for ledger specific if you want to posting transactions which what is the t code you are using generally what is the t code you are using so we have we have option we have option actually like a two t codes we have option the common posting any t code you can use example um, ab50 ab60 ab70 every eight like any any t codes every any t code you can use it i can say not only ab50 any t code you can use postings common posting purpose any t code we can use it okay but for coming to the specific ledger for, for a specific ledger purpose if you want post actually if you want post a specific ledger we need to use one we have option only two or t codes we have one for b50l one another one fb01 l this is a one another option these two only possible yes okay next is next is representative what is the representative ledger so what is importance of the representative ledger in generally if you have idea anyone when we have uh, multiple uh, ledgers then we want to represent uh, one one ledger as a leading ledger that is called mm. uh, one is leading another is uh, non leading ledger it may be 
IFRS or US ke penny one thing will be representativity ledger. We have Any to uh, if we have to uh, ledger, then we have to ma maintain one one as an uh, leading ledger. Either so there is a part. It can Always be leading. If we have uh, uh, non-leading ledgers like uh, two non-leading ledgers also, we can make it one as an leading ledger. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, other options, please. Leading is the representative ledger, sir. Always when we have multiple ledgers, one uh, we will keep uh, one ledger as a representative. Means uh, along uh, along uh, with any 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 ledger, uh, postings uh, should uh, um, flow to representative ledger. Ledger we will give the condition like. That. Mm, okay. Any others actually? Always leading ledger should be there. One more, uh, if two lead or non-leading ledger is there, so we can uh, post uh, one le leading and one uh, non-leading. Yeah, as uh, a representative ledger. You are all partially correct. So, can I say? Yep, go ahead, please. If we have ledger group, yes. Uh, if we have uh, in that uh, we have ledger uh, leading ledger. We need to select as a representative ledger will be the leading ledger. If you have other than leading ledger, we need to define one of the ledger as a representative ledger. It will control the posting periods. The point is, yes, yeah, perfect. Correct. The point is like uh, the first statement, everyone is uh, correct. So in a group, it is happening to the uh, leading ledger in a group. In a group, right? Uh, in a group, we have the leading ledger. Uh, the priority to select the representative ledger is a leading ledger, no doubt in that. Like a leading ledger related posting periods are open. In a group, like uh, any other ledgers, possibility leading and non leading. There is a possibility both the non leading ledgers also. Okay, leading and non leading ledger. So we'll choose here as a uh, leading is, example, leading is a representative. Is that right? Leading is a representative. See, but leading is representative to the meaning is while posting a transaction, while posting a transaction, system will verify the posting periods are open or not regarding to the representative. Representative meaning here is leading ledger. If the periods is open, system will post for both ledgers. If the leading ledger for periods is not open, system will not post to the any of the ledger. The postings will not happen. The main purpose, representative ledger meaning, in a group, we have the main, like, a, there is a possibility, like, a, more than two, three, or a possibility. One of the ledger system will verify the posting periods. The main important posting periods is open or not system checks. That is important. Sir. Posting periods. This is posting period is open or not, generally, system check. Not. Posting period not. should be open, sir. Posting must be open. If mm. not, like a system will not allow you to post. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Next is uh, next. If you are using uh, only one ledger, you are posting. Example: non-leading ledger, you are posting. <clears throat> non-leading ledger. The particular ledger, for example, your non-leading ledger only. Uh, uh, your non-leading ledger, you are posting. Non-leading ledger purpose, you are posting. Non-leading ledger, I can say IFRS, for example, you are posting. Your postings happening so the posting you are doing only specific one especially one po one ledger you are posting especially one ledger right uh, one specific ledger you are posting one specific the meaning the particular ledger posting periods must be open is that right or wrong particular particular are specific specific ledger posting periods must be open right uh? Not, not it will not allow you to posting is it right uh? we are maintaining separate posting period variant for every ledger right uh? so that we must be open the periods if you are you are, if you are posting to the only specific postings if you are posting a group in a group or representative ledger should be open uh, this point is clear second point everyone yes sir. yeah yeah the, uh, come, coming to the next point is recurring documents. Uh, I think GL will be almost done. Yeah, next is a recurring document possibility. What is a recurring document? It's important. 
see recurring importance is like uh, simple if you remember so monthly what our transactions you are posting constant like a standard date and amount is just, uh, same mean occurring and again and again the payment for example fifth every fifth we are paying to the rent payment is almost 11 months of one year i then 11 months is agreement for 11 months we are making it like a example 11 months we are putting some date and give the instruction to make a payment recurring document yes the payment the it is reduce the manual uh, manual efforts the recurring document what will happen it accurately to post it to the same date it is reduce the manual load since it of like a like end user to post every month the these kind of transactions again and again manually so by, with the the way of running a recurring document one time there are n number of documents we can post it and that is simply accurate purpose and as well to the like a manual efforts to reduce purpose only this is really use okay that is there is a possibility recurring questions recurring uh, point of view questions one it's used as a template Yes, template. Yes, definitely. By using a template only, you are creating to the recurring document a template. But with template only, the intervals, whatever the intervals you are giving, that you post it. Correct? Now you have maintained to the eleven months or one year or two years. So whatever the intervals you have maintained, what is the amount you are mentioned in the template, and what date you want to post it, yeah. all this stuff. According based all the instructions you are given there, accordingly it will post it. If you see uh, everyone like uh, in phone pay, it is like it it, it shows like automatic pay. it is enable if your first time you pay to the um, electricity bill or any, any other bills there is a um, automatic uh, payment option it will be triggered exactly if you give the instructions that the first if you are giving one time so that will happen into the every month the recurring hit will happen the recurring means the particular transaction happen again and again it is called the recurring so in sap we yeah yep, uh, yes we using a template Means template means a document or a recurring document we have posted, okay. Based on that, the the eleven months or one year or whatever the period we are putting it, that will happen. Okay. The next question is next. Next question is can we modify that or delete the possibility of the recurring document? Yes, it is a possibility there. We can modify that. For example, a BD one to creation of the template, a BD two we can modify. We can modify that section. Okay, we can modify and delete it. Next is accrual documents. What is accrual generally? So nothing but simply accrual. It is nothing but a provision documents to create it. All utilities generally, um, while we prepare to the financial statement of particular month. Example, we are in now. In, I can say now we are into the April. For example, March we are uh, preparing. The March related all the expenses we are making payments on April. In April you are paying it, but they are supposed to be incurred the expenses like in March only. To, to prepare the finance statement, we are creating to the provisional entries whatever the expenses, uh, specialties, utilities, especially we prepare it in the provisional document. That will reverse to the will reverse to the beginning of the followed month, the entry. Example uh, March month uh, ending, we post it to the provisional entry. For example, like electricity bill so on so to mm, so um, payable to the electricity bill. Then entry is reversal payable to um, electricity payable account versus to electricity account. Then we actual payment whatever fifth or fifteenth or twentieth we are paying the electricity expenses to the bank account we are making a entry. Me that is provisional entry will nothing but accrual it is nothing but a provisional entry will create it. That is one thing you can do. Next is hold document. Hold is nothing but a temporary document. I think uh, there is not much importance I can say. Just I have a one line for what is a whole document for yours. It is temporary document. It is not updated in any records. Next is park document. This is also until completed. It is it will not update the record, but um, it is approval process. I can say most of the times if you go with bank, that is two two approval two line of it is one for entry or one for approval. There is a two 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 things two people must be do it. Same as parking means like the end user are posted the entry. Approver like a, either like a, like a TL or like a, any high level one, they, he is approved. If you want, even can you can modify. You want, you don't want, like you can delete it also. Approver has the option to delete and all allow and changes and save it also. But the two end user will post. The next level person will approve that one. I mean, parking is nothing but approval persons. Okay, coming to the reversal. So reversal, reversal. There is two things. Uh, one for single document, if you want posted, abbreviate, and if you want mass, 
F.08 is a weak engine. We can reverse the clearing document. Um, can we reverse it by using a clearing document here? Is no. By using a B0 document, we can't reverse the um, clearing document. The if you want to go for a um, clearing document, a BRA, by using a BRA only, we need to go ahead actually. Okay. We need to go ahead to the BRA only to clearing it. Okay. Next is, next is, I can say, what is the tables for it? So as discussed yesterday, uh, yesterday evening also. Okay. Tables part is like table part, I can say, tables part. And tables part, um, as explained you, like, either like a configurations or like a master data or like a transactional data. Everything it stores in a database. In a database of the mm, SAP in form of tables, in a form of tables only data will store, either your master or like a um, transactional or configurations. So for our ACC, every transaction will post it initially to the these two tables, I can say. One for BKF and B6. Based on that, if you like open item open item related one, uh, like especially that, that will update it parallel to the these two tables also BSS, BSAS. Okay. This is um, this is tables related one. Okay. So specifically it is updated. For example, if it is like vendor related um, postings happen, what will happen here is the entry, it will post it initially. This is here as, for example, enter. Next, it will update it. I can say BSIK, open attempt related one, vendor open attempt one. BS, BSIK, the table will be updated. So it depends on the uh, entry, um, the different, different tables updated. So there is total table also it will update it along with this like so if you go in depth this the meaning here is that every finance document if you're posting transactions in finance that must updated one table the, sorry two tables is bkp bkpf b -Sync. first they will update it, these two these base tables i can say then only respect to tables will update it without these updated there is no possibility Right. Every financial document, if you post it in a post posted transaction, it have first updated this tables BKPF, then it will update it to the remaining tables. Okay, based on the base, based on the tables actually. Okay, if it is GL, these tables. If it is a vendor, it is along with this total tables also it will update it. it. Depends on actually. Okay, this is about a GL concept. So anyone is it clear or any questions in that? Just let me know, and accordingly we'll discuss it. Yes, sir. Is it clear? For, yeah, is it clear, right? Yes, clear, sir. That's also yes, sir. from GL point yes, of view. It is a GL settings. Is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. 